Balls with McCoy. And he searches out Ojipar in behind the Atherton defence. Harris comes out and grabs it at the second attempt. David Ojipar almost latching onto a gorgeous defence splitting pass from Andy McCoy. But Harris spotted the danger early and got out to close down the angle and eventually get hold of the ball. The ball's played into Parks. He holds off the challenge of Edmonds and gets past Pensbury. He has a shot. Harris gets down to make the save. Chris Parks creating the opportunity for himself. A smart low drive from the edge of the area, but Harris was equal to it. And the ball's been given away to Parks. He advances towards the edge of the Atherton area. He has a low shot towards the far corner and it rolls into the back of the net off the post. And Chris Parks scores his first senior goal to give AFC Liverpool the lead. A mistake in the Atherton midfield presented Parks with the opportunity and he finished with a plum. And the ball's with Kynaston out on the left wing. He advances towards the byline. Stafford tracks back. Kynaston cuts in onto his right foot and he finds the far corner. And a minute after going behind, Atherton Colliers are back on level terms. With their first real attack of the game, Kynaston pulls one out of the bag. Bamba, working effectively tonight, brushes off the challenge of Hitchin. He advances towards the edge of the area, lays the ball into the path of McCoy, who cuts it back to Bamba. He shoots, but it's wide of the upright. Top Bamba, looking impressive on his return. He just couldn't quite get the ball out from underneath his feet to direct his shot on target. Ojapar finds himself a little bit of room, cuts inside. Neat little ball into the path of Parks, he goes down. The referee points to the spot, awards AFC Liverpool a penalty. Atherton protest, but the Reds have the chance to retake the lead. It was Ojapar's incisive ball, searching out Parks, and Pensbury brought him down to concede the penalty. And it'll be Matty Williams to take the spot kick, and he coolly dispatches it into the back of the net. And AFC Liverpool retake the lead on 37 minutes. There was no doubt in Williams' mind that that wasn't going to end up in the back of the net as he sends Harris the wrong way. Kynaston attacks the AFC defence. He evades one and two challenges, cuts the ball back and Davis unfortunately turns it into his own net. And less than a minute after the restart, Athens and Collieries draw level once again. Kynaston's burst went unchecked and his cutback caused the confusion. Odjapar gets the return from Bamba in behind the Atherton defence. He shoots from the edge of the area but it goes wide. Odjapar spearheading a positive response from AFC Liverpool as they seek to regain the lead. Parks cleverly spins away from Edmonds and that isn't too far wide Parks once again busy looking to create opportunities that was a smart shot Edmonds got in the challenge corner to AFC Liverpool Williams delivers the corner it's not properly cleared Ojipar's effort finds its way back out to Williams who puts in another smart cross it's scrambled clear to the edge of the area. It drops to Parks, who sells the dummy. He gets the shot away. Harris gets down to make the save. The Atherton defence never really dealt with the initial corner. But in the end, Parks couldn't find a way past Harris. Williams on the attack for AFC Liverpool in so much space. He finds Ojipar at the edge of the area. He spots Harris off his line, but his lob is just too high. Matty Williams spearheading the attack, but David Ojipar just couldn't find his range. McCoy waits for the run of Stafford and finds him beautifully. Stafford bursts into the area, breaks through one challenge. Harris comes out and it's scrambled clear. 
An exquisite ball by Andy McCoy to pick out the run of Phil well, Stafford. An explosive run into the area by the right back, but somehow Atherton Colliery survived. Shanley picks the ball up in space on the right hand side. Murphy goes in with a challenge, Shanley goes down. Penalty to Atherton Collieries. The substitute wasn't picked up and as he attacked the centre back, Murphy slid in, but he didn't get the ball. It'll be Kynaston looking to give the Coles the lead, but that's a weak penalty and Willis makes the save. Paul Willis makes his second penalty save in three games and he keeps the Reds on level terms. Odger Park flicks it over the head of Pensbury, heads it into the path of Giwa who's in behind the Atherton defence. His shot comes off Harris and flies over the bar. Lanre Giwa just done as a substitute with the perfect opportunity to rub salt into Atherton wounds, but Harris got his body in the way of Giwa's rocket. Kynaston breaks through one challenge, then two. The ball falls into the path of Hitchin. His shot is parried by Willis, but Mooney follows up to slide it into the back of the net. Datherton Collieries are going to complete the turnaround and win the match at the death.